Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on the, on today's travel talk. We're not in the car yet, but we're heading that way. And I've got Miss Brittany here with me. Come here, Brittany. Look at how dressed she is. Yeah. She looks very nice, doesn't she, folks? Well, we're going to talk about why she looks this way, because she's heading to work, so stay with us. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for joining us on this on today's travel talk. Uh, we're heading into town because Brittany, look at how nice she's dressed. Look at her, doesn't she look nice? She is starting uh, training today at a new job. So, we are very excited about that. Mm -hmm. We, meaning all of us, um, are so happy for Brittany. We are so happy for Brittany because that McDonald's job was a great job for her. Um, but it, you know, it's a McDonald's job that you, she aspires for something better. So uh, she interviewed for an office position. Mm -hmm. And to her surprise, and this is her words, not mine, um, she got the job. So, um, yeah, Brittany. How you feeling today? You going in for training for a new job at a new place? I'm a little nervous. I won't lie, I'm nervous. I mean, it's a new job. Who isn't nervous for a new job? Right, that's so. true. But it's training, so it should go well. Yeah, and you're gonna be working, um, not sure exactly what the, uh, your duties are yet, but mm -hmm. um, if, it's, if it's an office position, then she, you, Go ahead. She did tell me I'm gonna be doing phone calls, some data work, some filing. So just like you told me. Just like I mm -hmm. suggested you probably would be. Yes, answering phone calls, answering the phones, or making calls, uh, data entry, yeah. which is on the computer, which is fine. That's, yeah. you can do that. Uh, filing, you know how to file. Mom, mom taught you how to file. Well, you did filing for some of the homeschooling that we did, right? Yeah. You know how to file, and it just depends on their filing system because each one is different. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it's um, categorized and then alphabetically mm -hmm. categorized by maybe accounts payables, accounts receivables, um, and then by alpha. Usually it's alphabetized maybe by company name or something mm -hmm. like that. What is accounts receivables? This is just a, a real quick, on-the-spot quiz. Do you know what accounts receivables is? No. It's the uh, the accounts that owe you money. You, you're going to receive money from them. Okay. Okay. So, knowing that, what is accounts payables? You pay them. Yes, it's the bills that you have to pay. Um, let's see. So, those are two important things. Uh, accounts receivables versus accounts payable. Uh, you don't really see. I did accounting, and I could help you if, if you were going to be doing bookkeeping and accounting. Mm -hmm. I could help you in depth, but there's really no sense in telling you things about liabilities and and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But, well, receivables, right? Mm -hmm. That is a current asset and liability. Uh, Payables are a liability. That's things you owe. So, anyway, um, who knows? Maybe you'll even learn how to do later on down the road if things work out. You stay working there. You might learn how to do a little payroll. You might learn how to do a little accounting. Don't be afraid of it. Yeah, because right now she's working four positions at the same time. Or she's doing four positions? Yeah. Yeah, she's probably... She's doing, uh, I would say, she's the office manager, am I correct? I believe so, yeah. Yes, so she does payroll. So she does the uh, human resources. She does the accounting. She does the phone, and she's probably doing all that. The yeah. phone answering, the filing, maybe the, um, you know, whatever kind of detail. This, everything's detailed according to the business. So whatever kind of in-house detail, paperwork or things like that. Is she the 
the only office worker, do you know? Yeah, that's what I've seen. Yeah, so she is ready to release some of that work that she is responsible for mm -hmm. and uh, get a little bit of relief. I remember when I was working, you know, uh, we had over 250 employees. I did payroll for, I did all the accounting, I did all the human resources. And it got to a point that um, we just kept expanding and expanding. Mm -hmm. And um, I finally was uh, able to hire an assistant. Uh, my goodness, that really was a good relief. Although I was able to do it, it was just tiring every day. It yeah. was, you know, very nonstop. And um, when you work that hard, tend to make mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, I never did, but... <laughs> Which is not true, because everyone makes mistakes. Oh, yeah. But I'm so happy for you, Brittany. I'm so excited for you. Um, I guess you're going to have to go shopping. Yeah. What do you need to go shopping for? Um, some cardigans. Oh, and cardigans, yeah. some plain work office t-shirts. Like what you're wearing, right? Yeah. Some nice... Shirts and blouses, some nice, I guess. huh? Blouses. Blouses. Yeah, yeah, yes. Some blouses and some sweaters because you're always cold, and I'm sure they're gonna run the air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is gonna be so nice, though. Mm -hmm. You'll be indoor. Yeah. During the summer. Yeah, that'll be nice. Of course, you would have been indoor in McDonald's too, but I think you'll like it a lot better. It's a oh, step yeah. up. Very proud for you. I think um, God is so good to you. And uh, you want to talk about the day before? How you were feeling the day before? I and was... So in this, folks, this was literally less than 24 hours before she got the call to come in for an interview. So how were you feeling that day? So I was feeling very sad and um, angry and I was I was just ready um, I didn't want to work there anymore I, I, I was done with all the stress that's caused because it's it's ridiculous in the store fast food business is it's crazy it's too much I suppose it's very demanding and yeah. people wouldn't think that it would be but the things that Brittany has explained to me yeah it's pretty demanding folks fast food is not easy um, it is a good stepping stone to a, a learning curve uh, to employment for teenagers but um, people are snarky right you had a lot and there was snarky. a lot of different at it uh, a lot of different um, Attitudes, uh, personalities personalities there's there's too much to handle too much to handle too much yeah and people could be rather rude mm -hmm. and crude and um, now you might have to deal with, I don't know what your position's going to be as far as like if they're going to have you talk to customers, mm -hmm. you might find that you might have some snarky customers, you, you know, that call in or whatever, but you've learned, you've, you've been exposed to that, so it's not going to take you off guard, just remain pleasant, yeah. and um, <clears throat> I don't think, um, well, you're, the employees there were kind of snarky. The older people there, all the teenagers were fine, but the older employees, they were, they were, they were mean. They were mean? They were mean. Well, yeah, and like I explained, I don't know why the older people would be, the older folks would be mean, but like I explained to you, sometimes if somebody sees potential in you, and they are higher up than you, they will mistreat you to try and, it, it's a form of trying to protect their job because you're a threat. Yeah. So don't take that personally, them being mean, because, uh, and I don't know what you exactly mean by mean, like just saying mean things to you, that yelling at you. Never crying. Huh? They made me cry. They made you cry. Yeah, by hollering at you. Hollering at me, just because I didn't know, because this lady wanted a, a McDouble with an extra slice of cheese and extra pickles. So I rang it up, and one of them yelled at me, "Why didn't you just ring it up as a, Mc, uh, a double cheeseburger?" And blah blah blah, and just kept going up. She made me cry, and I just went back to what I was doing, doing my job. I was still a little bit, you know, crying, but I was doing my job and everything like that. And then she came. 
older than you. And she is older than me. That's. I feel like you, going down there. No, I feel like you, putting my boots on trying, and going down there just and just wringing her neck. I, I was doing my job. What's she, her name? Nothing. <laughs> it's. I'm not so going to go down there, but I, I feel like ready. I feel like going down there. I was ready to get out. But I couldn't take it. I'm not going to do that, that because, yeah, I'm so, you know, and God heard your cry. And with within 24 hours, less than 24 hours later, you were asked to please come in for an interview. And then when you went in for the interview, right away she hired you. See, God puts his favor, God will put his favor upon us and in the hearts of men, you know, when I say men, men and women. Um, to shine favor upon us when we when we trust and believe and love love the Lord and we just release all things to him and I tried to and remember when you called me and yeah. you, you were upset and I said honey nothing has happened yet because you you're like you feel you felt like maybe you were gonna get fired that they were talking about you and I said don't worry nothing has happened yet we'll worry about that if that day comes and on you know and all that and you uh, calm down and it's just God is so good Brittany yeah. he loves you so much look what he's done for you so yeah um, it's a uh, ha ha on them so those older see fast food was never intended to be a place that you it was never intended to be like a living wage or a place you stayed forever now, yes, you can stay and then maybe, you know, raise up to be a manager or something like that. That's fine. But um, it really is was meant, you know, is it was a stepping stone for teenagers, right, to learn how to work in the workforce. And um, the folks that are older, maybe they're just disgruntled because they're still at McDonald's. I don't know. I don't know what cause them to be but you're such a pretty girl maybe they were jealous of you maybe uh, they saw potential in you and they felt threatened so they you know she or he or you know I don't know if it was one person or two people or more but anyway um, so don't take that personally so you're gonna go forth you're gonna conquer in uh, they're going to love you at your new job because you just, you're going to fit right in. You're going to fit right in, honey. Yes. And now that you've moved down to, uh, uh, from McDonald's, to Kylie can apply again. <laughs> She's yeah. looking for a job. And Kylie's a little different attitude than you, though. She, <laughs> yeah. They may get a little challenge with Kylie if it's an employee wants to be snarky, oh. you know. Ginger there, she's not gonna Yeah. I don't think Ginger would uh, be rude or anything but I don't think It's just her attitude sometimes Her attitude's a little different and you're so sensitive you're such a sensitive soul you know, I am. you are you have a sensitive soul, Like you're like your grandma I always cried at the drop of a hat too made me cry I, you know, I would cry at the drop of a hat but, um I mean, I can think about things now and I can just tear up mm -hmm. certain things. Has that ever happened to you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're sensitive. Uh, so, um, yeah, so Kylie now, maybe she can uh, apply and work there uh, for a, a part-time. She doesn't need a full-time part-time job. What else are we doing today, Britt? Going down to the bank. No, no. I'm picking up Kylie, and where are we going? Oh, I'm, we're going to get a, a permit testing. Yeah, yeah, you guys are going to get your permit tested today. Yeah. Hopefully you'll pass. If you, I know you've been studying. I've been studying. I know you'll I pass. Took, I, I woke up and because of the thunder and everything, and I just got on my computer and just did the practice test a couple times. 90, 90 something percent. Oh, you're going to. 92. I got a few 80s, but I should be fine. You're going to pass flying colors. And then in 30 days, you can get your license, right? Oh, I'm so excited. And what does that mean for you? What did we do yesterday? Now, we may have a, another video on this. Maybe we'll just keep it quiet. Yeah. We'll keep keep looking 
for what we did yesterday. We'll make a video on it when it, this rain is done. And um, we had a very good day yesterday, didn't we? Did. we? Mm -hmm. And uh, Brittany has uh, great news to share. So, uh, but yes, permitting today and new job today. You got to go shopping at some point. I might have to do that after. After work? It's time for these Yeah, no, we can't go now. Yeah. You know, I got to get you to work. Um, you got to get some new clothes. How fun is that, right? Mm -hmm. This is going to be busy, busy. I'm very, very excited for you. I'm a little bit nervous for you because I remember how it is when you start a new job. You're mm -hmm. a little nervous. So I'm not nervous in the respect that I don't think you can handle. I'm just a little know I know how you're feeling you know yeah. anticipation and but look here you just smile and you um, if you run out of things to do ask what should I do now um, I finished this what would you like me to do next do your absolute best take your time don't rush and um, you're gonna be fine you're gonna be great you're gonna be awesome you're going to be awesome. A little bit early. Do you want to sit out here or do you just want to go in? I'll just go in. Showing up early is, is always is always good. Yes. Mommy loves you. I love you too. Which door do you go in? There's just that one. Okay. I have a wonderful day. In uh, 3 o'clock, right? Yep. I'll come o'clock. get you. And Kylie. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day, baby. Thank you. They grow up so fast. So proud of them. There she goes. They had to be buzzed in. So yeah, I uh I couldn't be happier for everyone right now is is just they're finding their way they're making their way in the world step by step mom's here to help them through her and Colin and of course Kylie she's got another year at least before she um, well she definitely has another year before she is uh, 18 right she just turned 17 so um, but they're all making their way. And uh, it's awesome. I feel good. I feel good about it. And uh, I think this move here to Arkansas, uh, well, I don't think, I know, okay, for sure, this move here to Arkansas was the best thing we could have ever done after George passed away, packing up and coming and being around family and starting a new life and that first uh, last summer uh, taking the girls on that two-month RV trip uh, was really good for us too they uh, they found that they could trust you know that they could rely on me trust mom to take care of them and um, got their minds out you know just grief and uh, so I think little by little, the things that are happening um, are really good. And, um, you know, it's not, it's, it's a struggle. I mean, there's been, you know, there's, it's not been 100% easy, I guarantee it. But uh, it's been good. So to God be the glory in all things, in all things. When we put our trust in the Lord, He honors that. He honors our faith in Him. And He will provide for us. As His children, He loves us. He wants nothing but the best for us. Even though sometimes it doesn't always seem like this is the best 
but it all turns around and he can he can create such good things in our lives when we let him have control we surrender our life to him through it all you know one thing after another he has shown me that um, he honors my love and faith in him and um, just the protection that he's provided the doors that he's opened I don't have to go and I told this to Brittany too you know after after she went to the interview she came home and she said that they wanted her to start training today and I said isn't that amazing didn't have to kick any doors down. You didn't have to force them open. You didn't have to uh, beg and plead, you know, uh, forever. He moved right away in your life. That's what I told Brittany. He moved right away in your life when you uh, were at that point. And he just moved right away. So keep praying, folks. Keep believing when you pray. When you pray, believe that your prayers are answered. And people say, well, sometimes they're not answered because people don't get healed and they die in their illness. But you have to remember, they do get answered. Because ultimately, if that person is a believer in a follower of Christ, when he or she reaches heaven, they will be healed completely. So whether it be here on this earth or whether it be while we're in his presence, when we reach his presence, we will be completely made whole. So yes, he answers our prayers. Believe he answers your prayers when you pray them. Walk in faith. Just like what happened with Brittany. And um, I expect a good report when she come when I pick her up this afternoon. <laughs> and I'm just going to be so happy for her. And uh, the greatest, best part about it is it's a day job, Monday through Friday. And she and Colin will have the weekends off together because her previous employment was scattered throughout the week. She had weekdays off and they weren't two together either. Could have been a Monday and a Thursday or a Monday and a Friday, you know. Um, but she worked every weekend. So that's another blessing about this job. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is such a beautiful day. Even though it's rainy, I love it. I love the rain. I love the beauty of this state. It's just incredible. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. Now, I'm going to be traveling uh, this summer throughout the state of Arkansas. I'm not going to be leaving Arkansas, except for, yes, I take that back. I will be leaving going to South Carolina. Um, to visit family. So I'll be traveling to South Carolina and I'll take you guys along that journey, show you guys uh, some things. Um, but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explore Arkansas in, in two weeks. I'm going to go uh, to a, another place that I found right here in our backyard. About a, It's about an hour away. But I'm going to be exploring Arkansas's beauty and the parks and... Um, this summer. I want to learn all about this wonderful state. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments um, what you think about what God is doing in Brittany's life and in my life. Um, and uh, if you need prayer, let me know. I'll be happy to pray for you. Uh, and um, keep watching for uh, that good video that's coming up. Brittany has uh, 
she wants to share with everybody and um, things are moving right along. I got my turkeys out in the coop because the fence is done. So I'll, have, I'll be showing you all that too. I got a this weather is kind of keeping me indoors a little bit. I can't, I mean, I guess I could slop around in the mud. <laughs> Not in the pouring rain, but in the mud. I got my plenty of boots. Um, so maybe I'll do some filming, even though it's muddy. I don't know. We'll see. I've been trying to do some work inside while um, I have the rain pouring down. I'm taking advantage and doing indoor work. And, um, uh, we had such a good time with, um, I had such a good time with the Littles, uh, over there at that park, at that RV park. I can't wait to go back again, so I think I'll take, I've got another booking already for this month. I think I'll see if their parents will let me take them, uh, with me for another weekend, which I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> I'm sure they can say, sure, Mom. Um. <laughs> uh, Gives them a little break, you know. But it's better to take them places like that than to just have them at the house all the time because they get bored. And I want to have fun with them and show them places and get them out and about. They're old enough now. They're good listeners. The first experience in the RV was uh, in the first experience. So now they know don't slam the doors, be gentle. You know, their kids don't realize uh, how strong they are. So uh, there's no need to slam the closet door shut or pull the drawer really hard open. You know, RVs, you know, they're not they're not made for full-time living. I know people do live in them full-time, but if you have children, and they can tear it up really, really quick, you know, because, well, kids are hard on stuff. They're hard on things. They don't realize there's sticky fingers everywhere and sitting on the couch with pencil. Realize there's sticky fingers everywhere and sitting on the couch with pencils poking and just different things. Not that they did all that, but I'm just saying, just making examples of what kids, you know, how kids can tear things up. They don't realize um, what they're doing. You have to point it out to them, train them up, you know, to treat things nicely. And even then, you just, it's hard to get through to them. It's hard to get through to them. But I know, because I've raised, you know, Kylie's number six six kids I've learned quite a few things over 40 years I've been raising these kids and uh, not these kids but raising children two sets of three so I know a little bit about what I'm talking about and uh, overall they are some really good kids I could do less with the bickering between themselves let me tell you those four they bicker they bicker between themselves, and that's because of their age. Everybody's, uh, the only one that really doesn't bicker is Abe, because he's so little, he's still just five, he doesn't bicker, but, uh, the other three, they bicker amongst themselves, everybody's, they're so close in age, that everybody's trying to be right, everybody's trying to, uh, be the boss, you know, and, um, they're great kids, though, very good kids, so glad to be here. I get to wave at them every day, every morning. I get to wave at them as a school bus passes by. They see Grandma every day. So when they look back in their childhood, by God, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be in their memories. I want my face in their childhood. <laughs> so when they look back, yeah, Grandma, she used to wave at us every morning going to school. Yeah, Grandma, we went places with Grandma. She took us in the RV. Yeah, Grandma was there for birthdays, for Christmas, for holidays. It just makes my heart so happy to know that uh, God has done this for me. He 
has. He really has. Well, thanks for riding along with me, guys. You folks are awesome. I have the best subscribers. Um, I get wonderful gifts and letters, and uh, I just so blessed. Anime, you, you just blessed me with that letter you wrote to me. Um, and um, keep them coming. Keep them coming. I love to get the cards, the emails, the letters, the gifts. Deb, uh, Deborah, thank you. I did receive your gift, your gifts. Um, it just blesses me. I'll be doing another giveaway soon, hopefully. Um, not sure when, but everybody take care, be blessed, and uh, thanks for joining me on this edition of uh, Travel Talk. I hope you enjoyed it, and be looking for another video coming up soon. Uh, we got, I've got lots of plans for videos, so I'll see you on the road this summer. Okay, take care. I'll see you on the road. Bye-bye.